Hey YouTube, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. This is Matthew with the Counselors Guild and today we'll be looking at a presentation called Who Do I Need to Talk To? A Guide for Understanding the Differences Between the Mental Health Professions. Okay. So how am I going to do this is uh, I'm going to give just two diagnoses and, and discuss how each uh, profession uh, manages or handles that diagnosis. So I'm going to give two diagnoses. The first one is schizophrenia, and I'm going to just go just give you a quick uh, rundown of what schizophrenia is. Since it's such a big disorder um, with a you know a big umbrella with a lot of symptoms, uh, but basically a chronic mental health disorder that's characterized by three categories of symptoms: positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive symptoms. Your positive symptoms will be delusions, hallucinations, disorganized behavior and speech. Negative symptoms are apathy, uh, anhedonia, uh, blunted affect, poverty of speech. So negative is losing, you know, something you lost. Um, positive is something you gained. Cognitive symptoms, confusion, decision making, uh, planning, attention, memory. Okay. And the second diagnosis we'll be looking at is depression. Uh, and this is depressed mood um, and loss of interest and pleasure in nearly all activities are core features of major depression. And I list a, a lot of different uh, behaviors here. Depressive thinking, reduction in frustration tolerance, sleep disturbances, appetite disturbances, difficulties paying attention, concentrating, diminished sense of personal worth, self-doubt, and indecisiveness, loss of ambition and enthusiasm, loss of sexual desire, sluggish movement, fatigue, and suicidal thoughts. So first we're going to look at uh, is the psychiatrist and the psychiatric nurse practitioner. These two work from the medical model. Okay, so the psychiatrist um, is our, uh, our medical doctors that attended medical school and specialize in psychiatry. Okay, uh, what they do is they assess, evaluate behavior, and, and then diagnose. Okay, they treat with medications able to prescribe medications. They work in usually state or community hospitals and, and private practices. Sometimes they maintain contracts with certain agencies. And usually you see them every three months. Okay. Uh, psychiatric nurse practitioner is a master level nurse that works under a psychiatrist to address symptoms and prescribe medications. They specialize in treating mental illness. The psychiatric nurse does not do the initial assessment the psychiatrist does, but they do. They can do the follow-up assessments. They modify dosages of medications. They report back to the doctor um, that they work under. Um, they'll see you in, in the between times of your psychiatrist appointments. Okay, So they work under the medical model. They are the only ones that can prescribe medications. Treatment. For schizophrenia, a psychiatrist and psychiatric nurse practitioner will prescribe antipsychotic medications. Uh, there's two types, there's typical and atypical, uh, and what they do is they manipulate neurotransmitters, reuptake and release, and I believe for schizophrenia it's decreasing levels of dopamine. So typical and atypical, if you're wondering what those are, uh, have to do with side effects. Your typical medications are older medications and you're a higher risk have a higher risk of um, getting uh, extrapermal side effects like tardive dyskinesia. Your atypical or newer medications and have a lower risk of those type of side effects. Doesn't mean that you can't get them with atypical, it just means you're at less risk. Um, this, the treatment for schizophrenia from a psychiatrist, they will be working with the positive symptoms, the hallucinations and delusions, cognitive disorders. Uh, cognitive symptoms. Um, numerous medications and may need multiple adjustments to find the right dose. So there's many different medications for, for schizophrenia. Um, they may have to play around with dosage to see which one works best for, for you. Uh, let's see. They have quarterly evaluations with patients. They work collaboratively with case managers. Um, they assess for side effects of medications uh, and medications have a greatest impact uh, on symptoms of schizophrenia. If you have schizophrenia, medications are going to be the best form of treatment for you. Uh, so that's schizophrenia. For depression, 
A psychiatrist and psychiatric nurse will prescribe antidepressant medications. Your SSRIs, SNRIs, MAOI, uh, to manipulate tran uh, neurotransmitters in your brain. Serotonin, norepinephrine. Okay. Numerous medications uh, and may need multiple adjustments to find the right dose. Again, with any kind of mental illness, when you use medication, there's not a easy way. I mean, there are ways to, um, like, uh, I guess, look at your metabolism and kind of find the right dose from that. But there's no, like, you can't just x-ray a brain and, and know, you know, the level of medication. So they may need a lot of adjusting. Um, the nurse will have quarterly, uh, no, I'm sorry, the uh, psychiatrist will have quarterly evaluations uh, with the patients, assess suicidal ideations, assess for side effects, and medica medications are only half the battle for depression. You have to take medicine, and you need to learn how to um, manage depression. And uh, that will go with the, um, um, the psychotherapy side of things so a psychologist okay so psychologists are doctor level they have a PhD now nobody can advertise themselves as a psychologist psychologist without a doctoral degree in the US at least um, if you don't have a doctor degree you cannot call yourself a psychologist okay several specialties in psychology there's neuropsych cognitive clinical social IO, which is an uh, industrial organization, developmental, child, evolutionary, sports, research, etc. Um, they are able to teach at university level and publish their own research. Through research and testing, therapeutic techniques are developed, can be found in hospitals, private practice, or mental health agencies. They do not prescribe medications. They treat patients using psychotherapy. Now, I have heard that some states are trying to get psychologists to prescribe medications. I don't know if that's uh, that's happened yet. I thought over in California they were trying, but I'm not sure. Um, but mainly psychologists do not prescribe medication, do not go to medical school, okay? Um, they are go, they go to uh, like clinical psych or they go to uh, um, universities that teach how to do psychotherapy, okay. Uh, and uh, let's see here, they can specialize in areas of interest. So a clinical psych may specialize in anxiety or depression or um, you know some type of area of interest that they uh, want to be in. So uh, psychologists will utilize theoretical orientations to treat mental illness. There's many different theoretical orientations, psychodynamic, cognitive, behavioral, etc. Uh, there's literally thousands of different orientations um, and this uh, their orientation is going to direct how they treat you okay so you may see f four different psychologists and they may have four different orientations so you you know you, I guess it depends on what works best for you as a patient um, so just be be aware of that okay there's uh, a lot of different psychologists out there master level therapists, the professional counselors, social workers, uh, and the LPC and the LCPC is usually around their, uh, are their um, um, credentials, and usually they put around their name, um, so you know what they, uh, what they have. And these are graduate degrees, and they have a state licensure, or they're provi provisionally licensed through the state. Um, and that includes a master's degree and then they have to do um, testing and they have to do supervision. So licensed professional counselors, they have to take, um, I know for Illinois, they have to take a test to get their provisional license and then there's two years of supervision and then they have to take another test to get their full licensure, okay? Once they get their full licensure, they can practice on their own, be in their own private practice, um, but until then, they have to be supervised by somebody that is fully licensed. Uh, professional counselors do not prescribe medications. They treat using psychotherapy. They work in hospitals, private practice, and mental health agencies. They have a specialized, they specialize in areas of their interests, like psychologists. 
and they utilize theoretical orientations like psychologists. Social workers, LCSW, the L indicates licensure, okay? So if they don't have that, they're not fully licensed, okay? Now they may have a provisional license. I think that's, what's that called? Uh, I wanna say it's L, is it PL? Or uh, usually there's a P around it. Um, but uh, the full licensure, if they're, they're, they're on their own, they have an LCSW. Uh, for social workers, that, that um, you need a graduate degree and state license, you're a lot like professional counselors. Social workers cannot prescribe medication. They treat using psychotherapy, and they work in hospitals, private practice, and mental health agencies. There are differences between professional counselors and social workers. Uh, I think their um, education and training is a little bit different. Social workers seem to be more focused on societal factors, um, where professional counselors are, are much more concerned about the individual. Okay. Other master level therapists, there's your marriage and family therapist. Uh, and that is a graduate program in marriage and family counseling. Okay. Um, their whole program is around marriage and family counseling. Uh, they focus on family and couple issues. They do not prescribe medications. And there's several orientations that will determine the course of treatment. Okay. Mental health counselors, I tried to do some research on that. It seemed a lot like professional counseling to me. So I don't know if it's just called something different in different areas of the country. Um, but I looked at their, you know, their, what they are, and their, uh, I looked at a couple of universities and their um, curriculum, and it's, it's right there with professional counseling. So I'm thinking of probably the same thing, just depending on where you are in the world, kind of like Hardee's uh, and, um, uh, well, shoot, what's the other one called? <laughs> um, what is it called? Hardee's and what's the other one? Oh, let me know can't think of it. Carl's Jr. Okay, probably something like that. Uh, but I don't know, if, you're, if you are a mental health counselor, you know, let me know if you, if you know the difference. Treatment. So treatment for, uh, for using psychotherapy, your psychologist, licensed uh, counselor, social worker. Um, I think a family therapist might help people with schizophrenia and depression, but it's going to be more of a family-oriented treatment. And um, the mental health counselors definitely can, can do this. So schizophrenia, they're going to assess, evaluate, and diagnose. Uh, psychotherapy is going to focus more on the negative symptoms. And they're going to design treatment plans that address their individual deficiencies. Now, I know that's not strength-based strength -based language. Um, um, but I, I feel like you kind of have to look at you know, where they need help into, okay? But you should also focus on their strengths and interests. That's important. Um, relapse crisis plan, you develop, uh, develop those. Uh, medication education, monitoring. Again, we can't prescribe medication, but if you, you know, educate them on what they are, maybe their side effects, um, maybe uh, help them uh, organize their medications, because usually with schizophrenia, you're around quite a bit. Um, monitoring, okay. Psychotherapy groups, work with family members, support groups, and build a support network. Uh, for depression, again, you're gonna assess, evaluate, and diagnose. You're gonna modify neurotransmitters through neuroplasticity, through repeated behavioral cognitive changes, okay? So we're psychiatry, prescribing medication, modifying those neurotransmitters um, through introducing the chemical into the brain. Uh, psychotherapy is you know, it's changing the brain through repeated behaviors, okay? It's naturally um, increasing serotonin, okay? Um, see, the therapeutic orientation will determine the interventions that are used, okay? So if you have depression and you go to four different psychologists, they may do things, you know, differently, okay? Um, depending on what they what they, how they believe, you know, your therape therapeutic orientation is just what you believe is the best or how, the best way to describe behavior, okay? So people that are in psychoanalytic therapy, um, they're gonna you know, do more talk therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy is gonna do more um, homework, much more, um, I wanna say, being much more active during therapy. 
let's see here. Where so psychotherapy is going to help the client manage their own depression by identifying triggers, signs of relapse, and build skills that that is helpful with their depression. Okay, so taking a pill, it probably helps, but it doesn't really help you with your depression. Okay, it's kind of like diabetes, you know, where you take medication, uh, but also you have to make those lifestyle changes to accompany that. And with depression, there's a lot of lifestyle changes you have to make. Uh, so depression, medication, education, monitoring, um, assess for suicide, and build a support network. Okay. Okay, so looking at the bachelor's level, um, this is going to be people with a uh, BA or BS in psychology or social work. They don't have a theor theoretical orientation. Um, they're kind of at the mercy of their agencies, uh, whatever they choose. Uh, they want to. They're going to work primarily in mental health agencies. I don't. They can't have their own private practice. Um, they have to work for agencies, hospitals, community health, mental, uh, mental health centers. Uh, these are your case managers or behavioral health tech. Uh, they can't prescribe medications. They all have to work under a direct uh, under the direction of a supervisor. They offer community support. They help with medication management, advocate, advocates for care, um, provide groups, treatment planning. Uh, the work of this person is varied and cannot be contained in one slide. Uh, it's literally so many things that you do um, at that level. So treatment for schizophrenia, uh, community support, help them to stay functional and in the community. Uh, report suicidal, homicidal, ideation, work, uh, help with working on goals. The treatment plan will direct your work with the individual. Go with them to doctor's appointments and advocate for care. Provide skill building groups. You may home visit, assess their living situation. Review relapse and crisis plans, med medication management. Build skills to help them be independent. Assess side effects and report them to psych uh, psychiatrists. Assess symptoms and report to psychiatrists. Okay. For depression, help with working on goals. Their goals will direct your interventions again. Stay active or engage in their daily routine. Uh, you're going to provide community support, medication, education, and, and management, hygiene, budgeting, building independence, assess for suicidal and homicidal ideation. Again, the work of a community, uh, of a caseworker, bachelor's level, it's so varied. Uh, there's there's so many things that you can do, um, and everybody's a little bit different, and they all have a different treatment plan. So it's uh, it's hard to really say what you're going to do um, at that level. But mainly, you're helping them stay independent and stay in the community. Okay, all right. and that's all I have. So I hope that helped with you understanding the difference um, between all the professionals out there. There's a lot of them out there. They all kind of have a different job. Um, but I think they all are trying to help, work to help you um, live your best life, okay? Um, so that's all I have today. Please comment below if you have anything that you'd like to say or maybe I missed something. Um, and please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, you know, let me know how I'm doing. Uh, I would appreciate it, okay? So thank you again. You have a good night, and I will see you next time.